Hey everybody, welcome back to my vlog for today. Um, today's Whisper Wednesday. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, um, Whisper is an app that you can post random stuff on anonymously. Um, sometimes people post some ridiculous stuff on there, so I take one day of the week and I find some ridiculous posts that people put up there, or just ones I find funny or um, appealing or whatever, and um, I just read them off and uh, share them with you guys. So there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of weird stuff that happens on this on this app. Um, the first one, the first post that I found, you know. I don't know if this person's telling the truth, but I certainly hope he's not. Um, the first post I have here says, My sister is hot and I look at her in the shower. I really hope this person's joking. Sometimes people will say stuff like that just to get a reaction out of people. But then again, there's some people out there who actually do stuff like that. So, I don't know. But basically, that's like what I do. I find stuff like this and I, I just comment on them. Um, just because there's so many weird things that people say on here. Like, um, here's one. This is what you see a lot of on Whisper. Girls, um, they'll sell their pictures, um, for a certain amount. Like their Snapchat username and pictures and stuff like that. To, and guys actually buy them. Um, and yes, I mean like their nude pics and everything like that. But, um, someone posted, why buy porn from a stranger when it's free online? You know, there's stuff like that. And, um, I, yeah, I just think it's stupid. Like, why would you pay for that when it's free everywhere? I don't know. That's just me. Um, the next one I found was, uh, this one was very concerning to me. Uh, because I don't know why this person posted on here. Uh, what I'm about to read, if they're going through something as serious as this, you don't go on Whisper. Um, somebody said, alcohol withdrawal cures, please don't be rude. Uh, or don't be rude, please. Um, and this one said, get medical help, you can die from withdrawal. Now that is absolutely 100% correct. I went through alcohol withdrawal and um, my whole body shut down on me. Um, it was like my whole body, like, you know, that pins and needles feeling you get when your leg falls asleep or whatever. That's how I felt throughout my whole body from my neck down. And uh, the girl that I was with at the time, she had to, like, spoon feed me. Because all I was doing was drinking. I wasn't eating anything. Um, I couldn't move. Um, I mean, I'll go more in depth about that when that happened in another vlog. But, um, yeah, you should be posting about alcohol withdrawal on, a, on an app. You should be at the doctor's or the emergency room or whatever because, as this person said, you can die from alcohol withdrawal. Um, I had some weird stuff happen to me when I was going through withdrawal. I, I was hallucinating. Um, it was it was a pretty scary uh, thing to go through. It was pretty traumatic. Um, so I just hope that this person isn't just saying that and, that, and then and they're actually getting help that they need. Um, in addition, most times just change to other thing to get to the roof of the problem. What the heck? I don't know. Um, this one I'm debating on whether or not to read. Um, you know, it bothers me when I see stuff that's about race. Um, this this post says, "Dear straight white males, why do you continue to be so prideful when you literally have nothing to be proud of?" You should be ashamed to be a part of such a weak and laughable kind of race. Um, then someone else put, Ironic that's being posted on trillions of dollars worth of thousands of in inventions that white men invented. Uh, and that, another reply says, For someone so concerned with race issues, you sure have no quarrels with determining someone's value based on their race. Don't be racist. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of... A lot of like controversial stuff that people post on here is like this. Um, I mean, I don't know if this sounds you know corny to any of you or whatever, but I'm of the school of thought that we're all one race. We're part of the human race. Like the the amount of like racist stuff on all fronts is ridiculous. It's 2020. It's like some people have different color skin. Get over it. You know. It's just like can we just you know. 
um, put everything you know aside and, and work together. I just don't get it. I really don't. Excuse me. Congested a little bit. I really don't see the point in being racist. Like why? It drives me nuts to be honest with you. Like that's why. That's why I try to stay away from stuff like this or like in politics and stuff because it just drives me nuts. Um, with some of the things that people say and, and believe. Everyone's entitled to their own beliefs, I, mean, I didn't know that, but um, just the amount of racism that still exists in our country is ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, my next, um, oh wait, let me see, that's alright, I'll go to the next post. Um, it says, I wish people weren't so judgy on age differences. Someone may miss out on their significant other just because of just because of others casting shame on numbers. If two people connect, that's all that should matter. Um, one person put, I think both people being of legal age should matter. Obviously, you should be of legal age. Um, <clears throat> someone else posted in reply, um, and these are... That's your thing. I go to, there's a section where you can go to where it says popular posts. Well, this is popular and it's the most popular post that people put up. Um, you also do nearby posts and um, there's groups that you can join and stuff like that. But um, this one says, personally not in the age gaps. It freaks me out, makes me super uncomfortable. But for the people that do like them, that's their lives and not mine. As long as it's two legal consenting adults. I agree. Um, I, I'm a firm believer of age is just a number. Um, I've dated older women in the past, um, girls who were, you know, um, at, at one point were 10 years older than me. Um, it obviously didn't last. Um, she lived far away anyways. It was a real pain to get out there to see her. Um, but yeah, I mean, as long as they're not hurting, no one's hurting anybody. I mean, like, if, if two consenting adults want to be together and they're of age and everything, I say go for it, you know? Unless it's one of those situations where it's like a really old guy who's rich and then some little cute little thing try to butter him up and marry him so she can get all of his money when he dies. But um, other than that, um, yeah, I don't see a problem with the age gap. Um, Oh, this one. This one is, uh, this is, just, I don't know how to explain it, but this one is just kind of frustrating to see because this person just, one, probably doing it for attention, and two, they're just dumb. It says, I made a mistake accepting his friend request. I'm regretting the choice every day more and more. Ugh. You don't have to be the friend. You can unfriend people. You can block people. Why post on there? Like, like that's just like to me. That's just like attention seeking. Like, cause this this girl has the power to get rid of this person, and not regret, you know, adding them as a accepting their friend request. Um, that's just frustrating. But um, so anyways, that's that's basically the gist of um, of Whisper Wednesday. Um, I'm going to upload this um, momentarily. I can shut this up now. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope it went over well, uh, especially with you, my new followers and everything like that. It's just one of the things I do. I try to come up with a theme for each day, um, which is tough. And um, what else was I going to say? Um, oh, and... I will be doing a live stream later today. Um, I just got to work on. Well, first I got to upload this video, and then I got to work on my class for a little bit. Um, I've neglected it for a couple days, so. But anyways, that was Whisper Wednesday. Um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Um, if not, it's cool. Uh, leave me a comment. Um, and uh, as always, consider subscribing. So I'm going to cut this off here for now so I can get it on, on the uh, computer, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.